an Akai MPC Key 37. What's up with that? What's up, everybody? As I'm sure you probably heard by now across the web and on Facebook and so forth, that Akai is possibly coming out with the new MPC keyboard. Let's check it out. So this is what we have here. It, it looks, I'm gonna tell you what it looks like. It looks like a MPC one with keys added to it. And this is a photo here and it doesn't look photoshopped or anything like that. You can see the plastic on the outside of the boxes there. So it, for all intents and purposes, it looks pretty legit. Uh, and what I, what I venture to think is, it's probably gonna be pretty much like the MPC Key 61, just in a smaller form factor. What I wish Akai would have done is come out with this size, the key 61, and then maybe like an 88 key. Cause then that would give the consumer, when they go in to pick out a keyboard, they can fit one, they can get one that fits their specific purpose, whether they need a small form factor for their, their, their table, or if they need a larger keyboard. So you have a have a choice rather than have one version come out than other versions. Because what's gonna happen is someone who may have bought the key 61 that didn't really need one quite that big, but wanted it to have, you know, the instruments and everything on the inside of it. Now that this is out and they've already bought that. And so they either have a choice to go and buy another NPC keyboard or sell the one that they have. So I, I wish uh, Akai would have different models all come out at the same time. So you can kind of pick, you know, from which model suits your particular purpose, but that's neither here nor there. Where would this come in handy? Well, this will come in handy for the person who, um, say they have a MPC one, or maybe they have the live and it has portability, but they have to take their USB keyboard with them everywhere. So this would end having to pack a USB keyboard with you whenever you go somewhere, cause it can all be a self-contained unit. I wonder if this is gonna be battery powered or if, you, or if you're gonna have to use a, use a plug with it. I have a feeling that is probably, ooh, ooh, that's a good, you know what I think? I think it maybe could be battery powered, possibly and also have it with a plug. That's what I, that's where I kind of see this probably going. So it can still be a standalone. It's gonna be kind of interesting. We haven't heard anything from Akai as of yet. So I guess this is a leaked photo, but it's gonna be, you know what? I do kind of like the red color though. I wanna say, did the uh, Akai MPK uh, two, was it MPK 232, two, something like that. I think it had, I think it was red, wasn't it? I have to look it up and see. But this is gonna be pretty interesting. I'm not knocking it. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily want it because it only has that amount of keys. Of course you would have to scroll up, scroll up and down as far as pitching the keys or whatever. Uh, I kind of like the size that I have, but this is, this is great for somebody who's on the go and, um, wants to kind of have everything in one, pa one package. So we'll see what, what happens. I think it's, 
going to be pretty interesting. What I'm interested in now though, is what is what is native instrument gonna do? Are they gonna stay in the lane that they are? Or are they gonna try and go with having a keyboard also uh, with their complete keyboard? I wonder if they're gonna try and integrate. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna try and integrate, you know, instruments into it and maybe have it as a workstation. A lot's on the horizon, it looks like, for 2024. We shall find out. So yeah, it's all wait and see, game. But I, I have a feeling we may be hearing something within the next couple of months. So yeah, hope y'all's day is going good. I saw this today on Facebook and I said, man, let me, let me, let me, let me check into it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all be cool. Peace out.